There are a number of models in the Celestron Skymaster range. The 20 times 80 are probably one of the most popular. 20 times 80 is the key specifications used for differentiating binoculars. Number 20 is magnification, so that's 20 times you're zoomed in closer you are to the object. The 80 refers to 80 millimeter wide lenses, which is also known as the aperture. Essentially, the bigger this is, the better, because the bigger it is, the wider it is, the more light it captures for you to see. And light gathering is essential for astronomy because you're inherently working in low light and dark conditions. In this sense, aperture is more important than magnification because high magnification with low aperture is just magnifying a bad view. There are five pros I can list for this pair. Firstly, they're by Celestron, who are one of the best makers of astronomy equipment in the world. You'd benefit from their customer service and the range of videos and tutorials online that you can follow. Secondly, they're extremely easy to use. The only function is this dial here, which is a focusing. Other than that, it's just grab and go. Thirdly, they're good specs at a reasonable price, providing you just the right balance. Fourth, they have the tripod adapter built in, so you will need to attach them to a tripod. Some models, you need to buy this separately. And lastly, you can buy a smartphone adapter so that you can use them for astrophotography. As for downsides, I'd say firstly, don't expect too much in terms of what you can see. You're going to be limited by where you are, so unless you're in really dark skies in the middle of nowhere, you still might struggle to see certain deep sky objects, but you should be able to see things like planets and things like that, all dependent on where you are. Secondly, you will need to use a tripod. These aren't handheld binoculars. They're too heavy, the magnification's too high. If you want handheld astronomy binoculars, you're better off getting something smaller, say 7 times 50 That enables you to scan the sky, and it's good for things like watching meteor showers, but these are for zooming in and looking at objects. Thirdly, the case they come with is quite soft, so if you do want to travel with them, you might need to invest in something a bit more sturdy. Now, usually when people consider this model, they also consider the 25 times 70 or maybe the 15 times 70 because they're similarly spec, similarly priced. I think this is the best pair you can get from that range. The magnification is not as important as the higher aperture, and that's what you want to go for. Celestron also offer the Skymaster 20 times 80 Pro as an alternative to these. It's a very, very similar model. It, essentially, it's a slightly higher quality build, better weatherproofing, slightly better lens coatings for sharper images, but very similar. I think for 99% of people, this is the one to go for. Overall, these are the perfect astronomy binoculars for most people. They provide just the right balance of performance to price.